Hey, hi again. It's Pierre in the garage on the uh, right arm. Philip from uh, Phil's Projects. And uh, we're here to make some kind of an announcement. There is uh, Brad Jacob that uh, started the project, you know, like uh, Amongst Machinists to uh, help Keith Fenner's fill up the uh, toolbox. So uh, keep on. It's your Okay, turn. well, uh, Pierre and I discussed it and. Um looking at the list of the stuff that was being built, uh, we decided to contribute an earler uh, to it, a shop built an earler. So um, I did a little bit of design on the CAD. and he, he did all the CAD. Pierre and I have been going back and forth uh, for the last little bit when we had time uh, designing and refining um, our earler and testing it out, uh, even to the failure point. Uh, we'll show you all that stuff. Uh, we'll also, I think, uh, do a little demonstration of the tool. Um, Pierre and I went uh, shopping today for materials, and uh, boy, <laughs> it uh, we had a good time and we got a good deal too. So we were very pleased uh, that we were able to get uh, good materials so that for the project and yeah. uh, you know, nice ride on the nice uh, you know like uh, riders in the storm. Oh boy, yeah, we'll show you that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Anyways. Um, so okay. that's it, uh, we're, we're contributing to Keith Fenner's uh, What's in Your Box Tool Giveaway. Um, there's Pierre, there's myself, uh, Robert and uh, Colin's going to be joining us, or should be joining us. Um, so uh, this is going to be our little Canadian contribution to the uh, What's in Your Box uh, set up by Keith Fenner. So uh, you know what, I think we'll just start uh, showing you a little bit of what we have done in the past and uh, our final design. And uh, Pierre can talk about the trials and tribulations we've had and uh, all that stuff. Yeah, because that's uh, that's like a work in progress. And uh, I'd like to thank you, Brad, for the idea. I think it was a great idea, and just to uh, encourage the young machinists to uh, come into the community and uh, just get learning and uh, get going into the. Uh, that's a nice trade. I mean, it's a fun trade. I love, I love that trade. I love, I love working with metals, and I'm sure the young ones will enjoy it too. And Keith Fenner, which uh, does uh, you know, you know, put put up a lot of his time in uh, promoting uh, good workmanship and uh, encouraging young ones to uh, uh, teaching yeah. newbies, newbies, yeah, and uh, just you know, go and go for it. Okay, let's go for uh, okay. dem demonstrating uh, what we did steps. Uh, okay, so um, the first the first design we did uh, was this piece um, just to get a feeling for the size proportions and all that uh, there were some design flaws in it uh, some of it was just maybe a little bit too bulky so we made another body for it um, just ended up being a little bit too skinny this is just made out of plain steel uh, just for design purposes um, uh, one of these we... okay no um, the, this is our final design uh, for the knurler. Um We can knurl a little bit more than two inches in it. Um, Spring-loaded, centered, um, a nice setup. Uh, the final one's going to be out of uh, 4140. Um, Heat-treated and uh, all that stuff. Uh, the screw's also going to be out of uh, heat-treated 4140. Um, it works well. Pierre's tested it out um, at one point. Uh, oh, here they are. Um, we even tested one uh, to the point of uh, destruction, um, refined our uh, heat treating process so this uh, would not happen anymore and did not happen because we wrenched on this thing so bad that it works. I mean we've tested this out, um, I think Pierre's going to go on the lathe right now or he's going to prepare a piece so we're going to set this up and do a quick little demonstration for you guys. Uh, today in our shopping spree with Pierre we picked up uh, some 4140 flat bar. Uh, we have a rod uh, over there also of uh, 4140 and uh, while we were there we got offered a smoking deal on some P20 which we had to do some reading about. Uh, this is uh, pre-hardened stuff and it hardens up even harder if you want it. So this is uh, a bonus but I don't think it'll be part of the knurler. And we also started to make a few blanks like uh, these uh, these pieces will have to be uh, cleaned up in the milling machine. and. A few done, and we'll see what Colin, uh, what he's ready to do, and what we're gonna have to ship him.
Uh, do it war. Right now. Now we're ready to uh, go for business. Uh, the uh, way I'm going to be doing this, is I'm going to be using whey oil. The uh, you're not cutting in the metal, you're forming, you're reshaping the metal. So you need something that's slippery enough to uh, ease up the uh, movement from the knurling uh, wheels. So uh, that's uh, going to be achieved not with cutting oil. And uh, I'm going to be going about 95 RPMs. We're running for it. Now I'm tightening the uh, wheels over the, uh, over the bar. The bar in the middle is uh, 735,000 about. So it will give you a nice, uh, nice knurl with that pitch. The advance is not very important. When I'll start it, I'm making it tight enough so we'll make it only one pass. That's going to be uh, good enough. So I'm pretty well down to the distance I need to go. I centered the, um, centered here Sorry for the movement in the camera. I centered the uh, the part there with the center of the pins on the knurls and also the uh, center of the uh, the part. And we're going um, advanced. I think six or seven thousand per uh, per rev. Uh, And we're going in. Always like uh, same same thing. We're just being patient. It's gonna do. A, it's gonna necessitate only one pass. Also been tried on the aluminum. No problem. It's been tried on the hardened steel. Not hardened, but hardenable steel. Sorry, hardened steel. Mean if you get something Rockwell 55. Mean forget that. And uh, W1. It's been tried. Uh, 01K, uh, K460, and a few, uh, a few other metals. Uh, it works. It works great. I mean, uh, one pass, and it does the job. We can all just give it a, give it a look. And I think we get a perfect neural there. I'll give you close-ups. If you see something there with a blue sole. It's Roberts, morale support, the crowd is there, everything. <laughs> I think you can see the result. Lines are straight. The uh, diamond shapes is, uh, you know, like uh, just kind of uh, just about perfect. Crisp. Yeah, it's a crisp. And uh, compared to cheap knurlers, you got uh, the two wheels are digging exactly the same, which on cheap ones you don't have that. I mean, you have uh, one dug a little f deeper than the other one, or not even anyway, just like, uh, and it's going to make you a very uh, even knurling all along the, uh, the shaft. I could knurl like another inch or two, and uh, you wouldn't know the difference, even if I stop and start with this knurler. Uh, I think Keats uh, kids will uh, love this knurler in their toolbox. Hey, as you've seen, uh, the um, knurl is kind of a nice result. The tool is working great. Uh, I think uh, Keith uh, will be uh, more than happy to uh, give uh, give away the, that tool, and uh, I think some uh, deserving young men will be happy to receive. And uh, that's our pleasure. And in the next episode, just uh, we'll follow up with the build and just maybe uh, come back with us. And till there, oh, see how it goes. See how we put it together and uh, all we do with it. Okay, so. So okay. there. Goodbye. See you next time. See you next time. What the? Oh. <laughs> hey, hi again, everybody. <coughs> uh, it's come up. Hey, baby. Take three, five, four, six, seven. Okay. Yeah, Philip's, uh, you know, he's gonna help me machining too because I'm, uh, you know, I'm good, but uh, I need help, and uh, I need to learn.
<laughs> if he's learning from me, oh, he's not going to learn only the good stuff. Damn it! <laughs> okay, special effect guy. Hello, <laughs> Hello everyone. <laughs> not not special effect guy. Hey, not someone. Is is special effect crowd so moral support? I mean, he's there. <laughs> the behind the scenes guys are the ones that do everything. That's a lausch. Whoa!